In this video we're going to go over subtraction with borrowing so we'll do this page one here and then page two so page one let's start with 52 minus 37 now um, see if you can if you count on from 37 right you would get three more is 40 right and then 10 more is 50 so let me write this down as I'm doing it. So that would be 13. So so like, you know, 37 uh, plus 3 would be uh, 40. And then plus 10 would be uh, 50. And then plus 2 would be uh, 52. So counting on from 37, we've got, you know, 3, 10, that's 13, and 2, 15, right? So the answer would be, you know, thir would be 15 here. The answer is 15. Now... So, so we know it's 15. Now, subtraction with borrowing, just wanted you to think about it this way. Look, 50 plus 2 is what 52 is. 50 plus 2. And then, of course, we have 30 plus 7. Now, we can't do 2 minus 7 because 7 is bigger. So what we have to do is borrow from the 50. Uh, basically, um, turn that into a 40 and bring the other 10. If I, I break 50, you see, break 50 into 40 plus 10 okay 40 plus 10 basically and I bring a 10 over here right and so 10 and 2 is 12 so basically 50 is 50 plus 2 or 40 plus 12 40 plus 12 is the same thing as 50 isn't it I guess you could write it there too so you can either write the 12 up here or you could just put a 1 here and write it 12 here Anyway, so you get 12 minus uh, 7 is 5, and 40 minus 30 is um, 10. So we get 10 plus 5, 15, right? And of course, what that looks like with borrowing is you go 2 minus 7 won't work, so I'm going to cross off the 5, turn that into a 4, borrow a 10 from the 50, you see. Add it to 2, and 10 and 2, you see, is 12, right? Now 12 minus 7 is 5, 4 minus 3 is 1, and so that's subtraction with borrowing. But it's good to write it out so we kind of see it. So like this one, 85 is 80 plus 5, 47 is 40 plus 7. Now again, 5 minus 7 isn't going to work, so we've got to borrow from the 80. Turn that into 70 plus 10, and bring a 10 over here. Now 10 and 5 is 15. So what I'm saying is 80 plus 5 is 85, but 70 and 15 is also 85. So I'm breaking the 85 into, turn it into 70 plus 15. Now 15, what's 15 minus 7? 15 minus 7? 8, right? 70 minus uh, 40? 30. So I have 30 plus 8 or 38. And, um, the, and you know, doing it... Uh, without having to break it down like you would go okay five minus seven won't work so cross the eight off and that becomes seven add a ten over here and we have fifteen fifteen minus seven is eight seven minus four is three so the answer is thirty eight <clears throat> okay so how about three hundred twenty minus one hundred fifty right subtract these guys with borrowing well let's see um, we're going to I want you to think of 320 as um, 300 plus 20 okay and 150 is 100 100 plus 50 okay and we're subtracting now you know okay if we're doing it normally 0 minus 0 is 0 2 minus 5 doesn't work so it's kind of like 20 minus 50 isn't going to work, all right? So what I need to do is borrow from the 300 to help me subtract the 50, right? So I can write this. Look, 300, I'll write that as 200, and I'll add 100 over here. What's 100 plus 20? 120, right? So 320 can be written 200 plus 120, right? And now 100, 120 minus 50, 70, and 200 minus 100, 100. 
So I have 100 plus 70 or 170, right? Now, the other way is just to put, put a one here. And now this looks like 120, right? See that? So of course the the trick is like we can just the same same as always two minus five won't work so cross the three off that becomes a two and add a one over here and now you can think of it as a twelve even though it is one hundred and twenty you can just think of it as like okay twelve minus five you know <laughs> even though it is in fact one hundred and twenty minus fifty but what does that give seven right and two minus one is one yep. So how about this one? 817 minus 246. Well, 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 minus 4 won't work, so what do we do? Got to cross the 8 off, and that becomes 7, right? And remainder, I mean, you, you, you borrow a 1 so you've got 11 here right so what's 11 minus 4 well it is 7 and then you go 7 minus 2 5 so 571 right let's have a look at page 2 we've got 824 minus 478 so 823 minus 478 so 3 minus 8 isn't going to happen right so I've got to borrow from the 2 and that becomes 1 now and I bring a 10 over here so the 3 turns into 13 okay so 13 minus 8 5 right now um, Let's see, 1 minus 7 isn't going to work, right? So what do I do now? Borrow from the 8, right? That becomes 7, and I have to bring over, borrow a 1, or a 100. So you can think of it this way, look, this 1 becomes 11, because you're kind of borrowing a 10. But really it is 100, I mean this is actually 110 here, funny enough. But you don't have to think about that, because you're just going, look, you know, borrow a one, a, a ten, and that that is. You can think of it as eleven, and then eleven minus seven is four, and seven minus three, four is seven minus four is three. Okay. So, um, let's do this one. Write this down: two thousand four hundred fifty-one minus one thousand three hundred twenty-eight. Write that down. You're ready to go. So we're going to go 1 minus 8 won't work. Um, I've got to borrow, right? So you're going to borrow from here. So that becomes what? 4. And um, you're going to bring 1 over here. That becomes 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. And what's 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2 is 2. And then you you go four minus three. Do you need to borrow for that? No, that becomes one. So sometimes you need to borrow, sometimes you don't, right? Two minus one is one, so we have one thousand one hundred twenty-three. Okay, how about this guy? See if you can press do this one by yourself. Five thousand three hundred forty-two. Press pause if you need more time now. Minus two thousand eight hundred forty-five. So press pause and do this one all by yourself and see if you've got the same answer. And by all means with any of these videos you can fast forward or you can, or I mean you can uh, race me, try and do all the examples faster than me and then just check the, check the video for your answers, right? So um, 2 minus 5 won't work so I've got to borrow from here. And that becomes what? 3 and I bring up one over here, so that, or a ten over here, so this is twelve. So twelve minus five is seven. Now three minus four, that's not going to work. I've got to borrow for this guy. So cross this one off, that becomes a two. Bring a ten over, or a hundred really, and this is thirteen. Thirteen tens really. So thirteen minus four is nine. 
And now we try to do 2 minus 8. That's not going to work, so we've got to borrow from here. 4, and bring a 10 over, and so this is in fact 12. So 12 minus 8 is 4, right? And 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2,497. Let's have a look at this one. 700 minus 231. This is kind of funny. So let's write this down. 700 minus 231. Okay. So 0 minus 1 won't work. So I need to borrow from here somehow. Um, but there's nothing to borrow from here. So I have to go over to here now and borrow. So whatever happens, I'm going to borrow from here. This becomes a 6, right? And if I bring one over here, that becomes a 10. But I needed to borrow for this guy. So this 10 basically gets crossed out and becomes a 9. So I can bring one over here so that this becomes a 10, right? So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 6 minus 2 is 4, right? So how about this one? 100 minus 58. 100 minus 58. 0 minus 8 won't work. And then I've got to borrow from here, but 0 minus 5 won't work, so I'm going to need to borrow from here. So this becomes 1 less, which is 0. I bring a 1 over here, and that becomes 10. But I need to borrow for this guy, so I cross the 10 off, and that becomes 9. And bring a one over, bring the the one over, and that becomes ten, right? So basically, your one hundred turned into uh, you know ninety plus ten, and in, in a sense, this. Uh, uh, so anyway, we'll we'll go over it. So so ten minus eight is two, and nine minus five is four. The answer is forty-two. But on this one, you get six nine, and this is a ten. So this in fact became six hundred. Uh, you know, well, well, if I was to write it out, if I was to write it out, I have in fact 600 here. That's 600. That's in the 100 spot. There's, there's a 9 in the 10 spot, so that's 90. And there's a 10 in the unit spot. So the 700 that we began with, see that, actually turns into 600, 90, and 10. 10 and uh, 90 is 100, 100, and 600 is 700. See that? In, in this case, the 100 became no hundreds, 90 uh, plus 10. You see, this became 10. So 90 plus 10 is the same thing as 100. See that? Okay, see if you can do this one by yourself. And I'll go through it slowly anyway. So I'm doing 2000 minus 459. I'm going to try to do 0 minus 9, which won't work. Uh, 0 minus 5 won't work either. This is another, here's another 0. So I have to go all the way to here to find something to borrow. So that's going to become 1. So I'm going to borrow 1, bring it over here. But I need to borrow all the way back to this guy, you see. So he crosses off and becomes a 9. And i got to bring 1 over here. Cross this 10 off, becomes 9, and bring 1 over here, right? So now I'm ready to go. 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, 1 minus nothing is 1, right? So the 2,000, in fact, turned into 1,000, which is here, right? This is 1,000. Uh, this is 900, because this is in the 100 spot. This is 90, and this is 10. The 2,000 became 1,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 10. What does that make when you add it all together? Add all that together, what does it make? Well, 10 and 90 is 100. 100 and 900 is 1,000. 1,000 and 1,000 is 2,000. So you split your 2,000 up so that you could, in fact, subtract these digits, right? Right? 